Any moment, you have like a, a butterfly sweep. I have an underhook. I have an overhook, but I, I don't like that much because I feel you have less leverage and angle to turn the other person on his back. You have an underhook, you have an overhook, you have a collar control. Any moment, we have to engage with the move like quick. When I say quick, it has to do like one motion, as much as you can. Sometimes you can get a little bit broken, but you have to continue in one motion. So, try going straight up and let the other person down. Turn, please. If you get to one point, even when the person starts to kind of like uh, hold on time in the position, you cannot turn your knee. He's gonna fall right on top of you. So the whole time, my knee has to work to point out and not really in. Once the other person falls, your knee can follow him. But until he's in the air, your knee keep going up. Your knee keep going up. So, and then you can fall. So let's work to get ourselves strong and with a good momentum to go, to go at, at once. And never stop or never like hesitate. Just try to go one motion. So if I have this, and I'm walking back, and I'm walking, as I'm pulling him, I'm turning. I can never pull him straight on top of me. I'm pulling him as I'm going on my side, right? If I keep my, point, my knee point up, he's gonna fall. So let's do the same thing with an underhook, overhook, uh, collar control. Just try to do everything like that. At once. At once. Because the beginning, if you don't take the person out of the ground quick, he's gonna spread out his weight, he's gonna take side to pass your guard, so you have to just pick him up high. Let's try that. Guys, I, I really wanna get to this, look. As you lift the person up, you lift because you're gonna take him high and just take him down. And take him down off of both sides. That's just one side that you have the, the direction that you're looking for. So you cannot just, oh, I wanna take him to the other side. No, once you begin a position, I control his arm, so I believe like he this side, he's not gonna have his arm to post. The other side, his hand's gonna be right open to, to defend. So as I'm going to the side, if I feel his weight start shift, when I say his weight start shift, like I'm trying to lift, but, I keep, I keep going there and his waist starts shaping and then my knee pass. My knee pass because it was too heavy and then my knee kind of buckled a little bit. I was too heavy and then he pushed my knee in. Any moment like you try to keep your knee in but your knee goes inside because maybe his weight moved. Not that you just moved but he, his weight went out to the side and your knee cannot follow him. Even if your knee follow him, he probably is going to be so heavy over there that you're not going to be able to lift him up. So I'm not looking to follow him. As I'm going there, I, I cannot really follow him because I know he's, he's just gonna land over here. So as he landed, I have to avoid to keep my legs spread out like this. As, as I start to realize that I'm not taking to this side and he's gonna fall, my knees, my knees has to kind of go inside and not like a, in between. I don't wanna leave my legs open so he can land, go back. I don't wanna leave my legs open so he can land inside with his knee, come back. So I keep my knees like inside. As he start going over there, I keep my knees together. The knees together because I want to concentrate everything. I want to concentrate everything, both legs and one side. My both legs are going to start with one side, not one side and the other side, not spread out. So everything goes together, it's strong. Because I'm sideways, I'm not that strong as like this. Side, you're not going to be able to lift that much. So you put together and you try to find the angle to lift still. I cannot take him to this side because all his weight is away to the other side, but I can arrange everything to go back and sweep him to the side that he wants to be. So I'm not fighting to move his weight, I'm just fighting to change the position to sweep him back to the side. So any moment, so I go over here and he starts fall, knee goes in. Come back, come back. I feel, I feel his knee starts to cut it, I put the bottom leg in. So I feel like my leg goes in. Instead of leaving my leg on the floor, Behind, because that's that's the feeling that I believe you guys are gonna have. So as soon as I start feeling like he's falling, pull the body leg in. As you pull your, your body leg in, you engage and start to lift again. Start lift again, 
everything on that side. And he's going over there. As he's going over there, leg on top of the shoulder. And it starts to come up. It starts to come up. Even if you cannot come up, you start to set him up to take him to that side. Even if you're not sure exactly how we're going to finish, at least he's not passing. You're controlling. You're kind of like, okay, now I have time to start all over again. And the idea to do this is when he's still looking to do another thing. He's still kind of fighting this one, and then you have to try to do this when he's still thinking that he beat you a first move. And you have to engage the second move. So if I have overhook and I'm doing this, get both legs over there. As I'm getting both legs, he start defending. I can take my time, do this. I can take my time, do that. I just cannot be in the middle. In the middle, that's what he needs to kind of keep passing my guard. So instead of stopping the middle, where something just now that I plan begins, he begins to pass my guard, so I break out of that quick. So if I have this, start going over there. All his weight probably is going to start to settle down on top of me. So I have to make sure, I have to make sure I don't let his weight settle down. I move, I move before he, he land his chest and his shoulder heavy on me. So I have to move, push him, lift him up, connect again. As I'm doing this, and he stop up. And just keep him high and keep him move because he wants to pause, he wants to land, he wants to kind of like control you. So after you realize your knees are going side, after you realize his, his weight is not going this way, his weight is moving to the wrong side, Connect again, and your legs cannot be like this. If you want to do this, once you start going this way, put the leg in. And just start kicking. Start kicking and engage and connect anything that takes his, his weight out of it. Let's